An Ordinary Man, an autobiography, is the story of Paul Ruza Sabagina, a hotel manager in Rwanda who sheltered and protected more than a thousand refugees during the Rwandan genocide of 1994. The book is written in a simple and straightforward style, with Ruza Sabagina recounting his experiences and observations with a calm, matter-of-fact tone. The book offers a unique perspective on the events leading up to the genocide and its aftermath, as well as the role of the international community in responding to the crisis. The book begins with Ruza Sabagina's childhood in Rwanda, where he grew up in a small village and eventually moved to the capital city of Kigali. He describes his early experiences working in the hotel industry, where he learned how to manage people and deal with difficult situations. This experience would prove invaluable when he found himself managing the Hotel de Mil Colines during the genocide, as he had to use his skills to keep the hotel running and protect the refugees who sought shelter there. Rosa Sabagina describes the events leading up to the genocide in detail, explaining how the political climate in Rwanda became increasingly tense as the Hutu government began to persecute the Tutsi minority. He also provides insights into the complex ethnic and political divisions that existed in Rwanda at the time, as well as the role of the international community in exacerbating the crisis. When the genocide began, Rosa Sabagina was in a unique position to help. As the manager of the Hotel de Mil Colines, he had access to food, water, and shelter, which he used to protect refugees who sought refuge there. Rosa Sabagina's actions during this time were heroic, as he risked his own life to help others and used his skills as a negotiator and manager to keep the hotel running despite the chaos outside. The book also addresses the aftermath of the genocide, including Rosa Sabagina's decision to flee Rwanda and seek asylum in Belgium. He describes his experiences in exile and his efforts to bring attention to the ongoing crisis in Rwanda, as well as his frustration with the international community's lack of action. Throughout the book, Rosa Sabagina reflects on his experiences and the lessons he learned from them. He emphasizes the importance of empathy and compassion, as well as the need for individuals to take action in the face of injustice. He also speaks candidly about the difficult choices he had to make during the genocide, including the decision to bribe and negotiate with the Hutu militias in order to protect the refugees in his care. One of the book's strengths is its ability to convey the horror and chaos of the genocide in a way that is both personal and relatable. Ruza Sabagina's descriptions of the violence and destruction are vivid and graphic, but he also offers glimpses of hope and humanity in the midst of the crisis. His portrayal of the refugees he sheltered is particularly moving, as he describes their resilience and courage in the face of unimaginable hardship. Another strength of the book is its ability to address complex political and historical issues in a way that is accessible to a general audience. Ruza Sabagina provides valuable insights into the root causes of the genocide, as well as the challenges faced by those who sought to intervene and prevent it. He also offers a critique of the international community's response to the crisis, arguing that more could have been done to stop the violence and protect the innocent. Overall, An Ordinary Man, an Autobiography, is a powerful and thought-provoking book that offers a unique perspective on one of the most tragic events of the 20th century. Ruza Sabagina's story is a testament to the resilience and compassion of the human spirit, 
and a reminder of the importance of standing up against injustice.